if I'm pre-fishing in a grass, a place I've never been before, just drop me on a grassy lake, never been there before in my life, and I have to figure out a grass mat, I'm not throwing this. I do like the chatterbait. It's not that I don't like the chatterbait. I think the chatterbait is one of the top baits made in the last 10 years. It's fantastic. When I go to ponds, when I go to places that aren't heavily pressured, you know, the chatterbait, and I'm dealing with grass, of course, the chatterbait is one of the first baits I throw. Um, the thing with the lipless, again, is the fact that I don't think it gets fished as much. If I had to pick the two, I think fish get turned off the chatterbait first before they get turned off the lipless. Because with the chatterbait, I think there's less that I can do to change its vibration size color than with the lipless bait. It's a lot easier to change the vibration, the size, and the color with a lipless bait than a chatterbait. That, that's it. So if I'm fishing Thursday and there's nobody around, yeah, 100%, I'm probably going to be, I'm going to have a chatterbait tied on and I'm going to be using it. If there's 600 people on a grass flat, I'm probably going to be throwing a lipless because, I mean, heck, not only do I think I can adjust this to make them to react, if those fish aren't in a biting mood, even if they flare at it, I'm going to get them. If I'm pre-fishing in a grass a place I've never been before. Just drop me on a grassy lake. Never been there before in my life. And I have to figure out a grass mat. I'm not throwing this. I'm going to throw this. With this and this setup here, I can cover the whole grass mat, the whole grass bed very quickly, and I can find biting fish. And with grass fishing, if people that aren't aren't used to it, that's the most important thing. If I bomb cast this down the grass line and mark every time I get a bite, whether it's a two pounder, a four pounder, a three inch, it doesn't matter. I know where those fish are because wherever they set up, that's pretty much where they set up. Those are the juice spots. And then I can kind of come back here with the chatterbait. But what's nice with throwing this finesse bait and one of my key spots I found on the Potomac a couple of years ago, I was throwing this little guy like this, just going down the bank and I caught two dinks. I just caught two dinks. It was like late afternoon. I caught two dinks in a little part of the grass. It was submerged vegetation, but I caught two dinks on this thing here. The, one was 10 inches. I think the other one was like 12 and a half. I caught them on this bait right here. I think it was a different color, but this bait right here marked the spot. Two days later, come back in the tournament, same area. Boom. I catch two that, that put me at 10 pounds. Had I thrown a big clunky chatter bait or a big swim jig or swim bait, I might not have caught those fish. And so when you're dealing with grass, it's not just about, it's not just like a log where there's a particular log. You're dealing with a mass lawn. And for some reason, there are just weird places that they set up. And sometimes you can find it on your graph, but the best way to find it, whether you, you know, pan optics, you know, minus, you know, pan optics is getting a bait that lets you cover water fast and it doesn't limit the size you get. You know, if you have a bait that's big, you know, you would think if I'm throwing an eight inch Huddleston in a grass bed, okay, cool. I'm going to find where the big ones live, but they might not be set up there. They might not even want to eat that. If you throw this bait here and you catch a dink that's on the juice for some reason, you know where that juice is from now on. And so that's again, why like a lipless bait is a fantastic search tool. You know, even if you're not going to use it as your tournament arsenal, if you have to pre-fish in a grassy area, this thing is going to let you cover water quickly and find those key areas. So, no, I hope that I hope that helped guys.